hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss uh, how we can read data from a data queue using the external stored procedure so basically here we are going to write an external stored procedure which reads data from a data queue so in my last video i created uh, uh, for writing the data to a data queue using the external stored procedure so this time i'm reading the data from data queue so let's uh, move on to the demo so we have some examples let's see so this uh, is the program which read the data from the data queue so we are basically going to have this api in place and uh, queue receive data queue will basically uh, read the data from the data queue so this api has several parameters data queue name same as the send data queue api data queue lib data length data buffer so all these uh, things are same as the all these uh, parameters are same as uh, the queue sndd dta queue the difference here is in these four parameters the two are same the last two uh, the third and fourth parameter are basically are uh, treated as an output parameter here but in queue send dta dta queue api it is treated as an um, input parameter now one more parameter is here which is a wait time so we can uh, mention a wait time here which is in seconds so basically uh, the maximum uh, range for that is 99999 which is approx 28 hours so we have several values uh, for the wait time like uh, less than 0 so if i am specifying wait time less than 0 means we need to wait infinitely so there is no time foundation for that so till the time there was an, an entry in the data queue there was no entry in the data queue the process will wait for have an entry in the data queue so once the date entry is there the process is used now if i mention specify zero in the wait time it won't wait if there is no entry in the data queue it will complete the process will get completed if it has some uh, value greater than zero means in our case we have mentioned 10 here so it will wait for 10 seconds so let's not uh, decrease this let's keep it as it is so that we can see the effect so we will be waiting for uh, 10 seconds uh, until there is no entry in the if there is no entry in the data queue so this is the api which is getting called queue receive dta queue we are passing the data queue name data queue library length and receive length and receive is the data which is output so length would, would also be an output here wait time is the input param uh, which we need to supply so we are supplying a constant value 10 length is a variable uh, which is passed here which will be populated once this api gets called with the length of the output data and receive will uh, have the output data from the data queue so that's the thing here let's change this as xcpgm6 so here we have the api prototype and the main procedure main program prototype this one so we are taking three input parameter uh, basically three input parameters uh, out of which uh, two input parameters and one output parameter so basically so let's compile this So this program gets compiled successfully. The object is there. So let's debug this. So 
so uh, first of all i am debugging this program to see whether it's functioning or not then we will be creating a stored procedure over uh, this so that we'll see uh, whether the stored procedure works or not so set the breakpoint at line number one and then call ext pgm six so we are not passing any parameters so it will give me the error so let's pass the input parameters to this program which is a data queue data queue one library name is this and there is no data to pass so the data would be returned from this api so let's see if there is any data in the data q1 so there is no data in the data queue currently so let me uh, tell you when we create a data queue so we can specify the sequence here as fifo lifo keyed so for data q1 it is fifo so the first in first out uh, thing uh, now let's uh, see if any if there is no data and we have the wait time 10 so once i am pressing f10 so you can see the system is waiting because we can see cross here so it will wait till 10 seconds and now the pro you can see it the process completes after 10 seconds after uh, since it does not get any data let me check that thing length is 0 and the sieve is blank is still blank so here you can see this program is working fine now let's populate some data into the um, uh, we have an old uh, program or a procedure which populates data into the data q1 so let's call this stored procedure write to data q this will populate some data write some data into the data q1 first one is xyz test data so we have two records so the first and first out thing is here so we will see when we read the data from the data queue we will read this one first and first in first out so once we read this this is removed from the data queue we have then this one so this way we will be reading the data and finally we do not have anything in the data queue once we read all the, the messages now we have uh, the program created xtpgm6 which is working fine and uh, reading from the data queue so let's create a data uh, stored procedure over that so we have this script create procedure uh, in this library dot read from data queue so this is the name of the procedure uh, and when we call this a stored procedure we will call using this name we have some input parameters data queue name and data queue lib and we have received output parameter language is rpgle specific this this is the specific name uh, which is unique for every stored procedure inside the schema so we ha can have uh, stored procedure with this name uh, multiple times or we have multiple stored procedure with the same name but we can have specific name different for each of them so that they can recognize uh, differently or uniquely external name this so we are basically calling this program uh, through this stored procedure so this is stored procedure calling this one so this is an external stored procedure not deterministic no sql called on null input parameter style general so it is called on the null input uh, not using any sql uh, not deterministic so every time the result will be fetched is updated 
so no buffer uh, result will be fetched on the same input parameters so uh, we are executing uh, this sql script and creating the store procedure so let's create the program which is creating the store procedure strdbg ext proc 6 set the breakpoint and then call exe proc 6 so we are executing this script just execute this check the sql code so it's zero just check the job log so you can see procedure this created successfully and the specific name is this one exe proced just do strsql just do select star from qsys2 dot sysprox So you can see uh, the external name this is an external body external stored procedure and it's calling this program just check the params in sys params so we have three entry we have three two input parameters and one output parameter of type character of length this one now the stored procedure is created now the time is to call either we can call it from the strsql so when we call it from strsql we need a global variable which we will be creating using create variable command and we will be placing that global variable in place of output variable so we pass two input parameters and then global variable which will hold the data written from the data queue now let's uh, call it from here from RPG so we have written this program having three params passing the data queue name and library name and the third one is the return parameter which we are displaying here so you can see this is an SQL call read from data queue param1 param2 param3 and just save it just do star none So this is created just debug this call proc 6 Just put the big point at line number one. Call call block six. So if we see the data in the data queue, so we have two records, two messages, x, y, z, and this one. So first one was this one, and we will be reading this first. So we have XYZ data
just do shift F10 to be there in the debug program data queue name is this library is this length is 0 received data is this and now it's this one now if you call it again we need to wait for 10 seconds because we do not have any more data in the data queue so basically what happening here is the data is not refreshing in the stored procedure so there is some error which we will be fixing here only so just check there is no data at all just call this xy chat just place this data from here just check so we have two data two messages in the data queue let's correct this program so what we need to do is we need to initialize this on every call so we can initialize from here only okay that's a parameter so we cannot initialize from here I thought it was a stand alone variable so I I, I was uh, using I injured there so let's uh, do one thing So that we will be getting the correct data always. Now we can see the correct data and display x, y, z and that is removed from the data queue now we have test data only and once we call this again call proc6 test data strsql so we do not have any data in the data queue now let's call this again so we need to wait for 10 seconds as we can see and And finally we will see blank so we can see nothing that is blank so this way you can read the data from the data queue and I think that this example is uh, in itself explains how you can read the data from a data queue uh, using an external stored procedure so basically you are creating a stored procedure that reads data from a data queue so that's all in this video. Thank you.